Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to create this beautiful animation using PowerPoint. This example uses morph transition to smoothly animate changes between each slide. So, let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and create total of 5 vertical guides at 2.5 units on either side. These guides will act as reference to place our timeline elements. Next go to insert tab and add any building image from inbuilt stock images. If this image does not fill entire slide, then crop this image to 16 as to 9 aspect ratio. Now stretch this image to fill up entire slide. Next go to insert tab and add heading text at the center of slide. Change its font color and then format it as per requirement. Now let's create a beautiful gradient shade over this image. Go to insert tab and draw rectangle shape to cover entire slide. Make it no outline and format it with two-step linear gradient. Change stop colors to light and dark shades of blue color and set their transparencies to 60%. Make sure heading text stays on top. Next duplicate first slide and let's make few changes to enhance morph transition. Go to first slide and drag this gradient shape to bottom of slide. And on second slide, move heading text to top and reduce its font size. Now let's apply morph transition to second slide and check how changes between the slides gets animated. Looks perfect. Now on second slide, let's draw horizontal line through center of slide. Make sure it slightly crosses slide width on either side. Change its color to white and increase its weight to four and half points. Now drag this line to extreme left position and then duplicate second slide. On third slide, drag this line back to its original position. Also, it's not required to apply morph transition to third slide as it will be automatically carried forward when we duplicated second slide. Now let's check how this line animates. Looks perfect. Next go to insert tab and draw circle to left of slide area holding down shift key. Make it no outline and fill it with white color. 
Now go to selection pane and rename this as first circle. Duplicate the circle four more times using Ctrl plus D and rename them in sequence as shown. Make sure to align all circles at one common position. Next go to insert tab and draw rounded rectangle shape at second vertical guide. Increase its roundness using orange color edit point and adjust its size as required. Apply white color outline and format it with same two step linear gradient. Add text into it and format it as per requirement. Also add text field at the bottom of slide and format it as required. Next drag this rectangle shape and text field holding down Ctrl and Shift keys to create 4 more duplicate sets. Align these duplicates to next vertical guides. Let's quickly change text of each rectangle shapes. Now it's time to create magic out of this arrangement. Duplicate third slide and on fourth slide, select all five circles by dragging over them. You can go to selection pane and ensure all circles are selected. Now align all these circle to first vertical guide position and arrange first set of rectangle and text shapes to same vertical guide. Next duplicate fourth slide and on fifth slide, exclude first circle and select remaining four circles. Align them on second vertical guide and arrange second set of rectangle and text shapes as shown. Continue to duplicate the slides until you arrange all shapes to each vertical guides. Make sure to exclude one circle each time when you align them to next vertical guides. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.